afternoon. Are you alright? Okay, um, let me just grab your chart here for a second and see if I can get an update. Okay, thank you. If it's comfortable to close your eyes, that's more than welcome. It's okay, just let me catch up for a second, okay? Thank you. the visual distortions been going on for you? A couple of hours? Okay. Have they gotten worse? Hmm. Okay. Um, how long were you out in the sunlight? It's been really, really bright these last couple of days. And I know today, particularly. Do you normally have any kind of, hmm, side effects to any kind of overexposure to sunlight, um, you know, high, v, high UV uh, exposure. Not really, at least not that you know of. Okay. So, is this the first time that you've ever experienced it? Okay. Um, can you describe it to me a little bit about what the sensation is? in your, your initial mention here. Mm -hmm. And aside from the blurriness, have you noticed any like areas where, you know, your vision tends to kind of disappear? Okay. How about a headache? It's starting to? Okay. No, that's actually, um, that's a, the symptom of um, something like an ocular migraine. I'd, I'd actually believe that might be what you're experiencing. Okay. Um, ocular migraines are... They're a little bit different than some people might understand when they hear the word migraine. Um, but a lot of the times it can be a stimulation of your visual system. I mean, there's a bunch of different things that can contribute to it, but that's one of them. Um, so that would be very similar to what you're describing. Has the field of your vision kind of changed over the last couple of hours? Okay. Okay, it started. It started with a ring? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, ocular migraines are often... Um, something that passes just with time and learning what to recognize can sometimes help to ease that transition or to speed it along, put yourself into a circumstance where that can kind of ease up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to dim the light here just a little bit. I'm going to turn off this light and if it's okay with you, I'm going to get really, really close, just to take a look at your constriction and dilation. Is that going to be okay? okay? Now I know that you might be a little overstimulated right now, so I'm going to try to be very gentle and make this kind of brief when I look into your eyes. If you feel uncomfortable in any way, just let me know and I'll figure out another method, okay? All right. So I'm going to use an otoscope here. I just want to get really close so I'm going to see what your constriction looks like, so... Okay, the constriction looks really good. Okay. And on the other side. Your constriction and dilation looks really good. When the headache is starting to have an onset, um, there's a couple of different medications that can be given. 
uh, to help ease that pain a little bit? Have you taken anything? Any over-the-counter medications or anything like that? Excedrin is a very good one for many people who can tolerate it. Um, the combination of the caffeine and the uh, acetaminophen and aspirin is a really good cocktail. Um, other people prefer ibuprofen. It just depends on what your body responds to best. Okay. Well, I know that you're already kind of in the thick of things here, so really once this type of an ocular migraine takes place, um, it's more about recovery than it is necessarily determining what the issue is. So some of the things that are recommended are to put yourself into a low light scenario and to take out as many stimulations as you can. So with your permission I'm going to turn off the light. We're just going to have the overhead light which is pretty dim and um, focus on just kind of reducing that stimuli, okay? Okay, so just sit still for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get that light, okay? some of that calmness back to you. Is that okay? Okay. I just want to make this area on the skin nice and clean and also sanitize. Tips are nice and clean. I'm just going to palpate the areas right around your under eyes, okay? And if you would for me, just please close your eyes. Thank you. You know, you might actually start to notice your perhaps after this. Sometimes just massaging into the eyes feels really nice. And also right here above the nose or on the sides of the nose. to very gently kind of press inward right here. And this sometimes hurts at first, but it can feel really, really relieving if you do it in just little slow bursts.
go here on your temples. It's okay if you feel a little discombobulated. That's that's one of the side effects that a lot of times happens afterwards. How's your vision now? Seems to be coming back. That's good. Let's just focus on this area. I know that on the forehead, this can be a big big deal when it comes to tension headaches. So. And like the little points just before your eyebrows here, okay? your little angry eyebrows here. <laughs> and then move down to your bridge of your nose here again and just kind of apply a little bit of pressure. I know that it might not seem that much, but contribute to a lot of our ear, nose, and throat illnesses. This can be a place of tension relief right here. you need to go anywhere, just kind of reduce that stimulation and then, you know, if you want to sleep, these types of migraines, if it is indeed an ocular migraine, they do pass, so at the very least you'll have some time that you can recuperate and be comfortable. I can get you some beverages as well as any kind of food or anything like that that might help. You want some salty chips? always helps me. <laughs> 